I need three things for this. The first of these I ordered from Israel. It's worth $700. No way. This is it. Oh, I think you got ripped off as a sponge. <laughs> it's a sponge, but the sponge is on top of this very thin sheet underneath. It's a superconductor. Second thing I need are these incredibly strong neodymium magnets. Now, these are some of the strongest magnets you can get. You find them in computer hard drives, cordless drills, things like that. The third thing we need... I need a hand from you, Dom. So, uh, goggles on, please, chaps. <sighs> this means it's going to be a good one. Yep. OK. Uh, Dom, come with me. OK. <laughs> this contains liquid nitrogen <gasps> at minus 196 degrees Celsius. Right. Here we go. Yep. Slowly. Bit more. Oh, I can't wait to see their faces when they see this. Turn off. All right. So here is my uh, liquid nitrogen. Now, the next thing I need to do mm -hmm. is I need to cool down my superconductor. So I'm going to put it inside this little tin foil parcel to basically hold some of the liquid nitrogen around it. What's, what's he made? What's then he I'm going to drop it inside my liquid nitrogen. The reason we're cooling it down is that's because this superconductor only works when it's very, very cold. When it gets very, very cold, it essentially has zero electrical resistance. OK, I think we're ready. So now I'm just going to get out the superconductor and you guys are going to prepare to have your minds absolutely blown. Watch this. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> right, Dom, How is that happening? Watch this, watch this. Look Whoa! at that. It's levitating or something. It is completely levitating. This is called flux pinning. You've got um, magnetic field lines coming out from those neodymium magnets. A I've magnetic got, field. I think I've forgotten to breathe. <laughs> <laughs> lines of magnetic flux pass through the superconductor and pin it in a constant position above the magnets, making it float. That has got to be one of the most amazing things I've ever seen. Me too. It looks like an optical illusion. Yeah. But it's actually it's not. happening. This, this is better than magic. Yeah. Because it's not an illusion, it's actually happening. You know, this is cutting-edge science making it happen. I'm going to cool this back down once again, um, because I haven't yet actually shown you the best thing. Well, because it's this. I'm intrigued by this, this... Nice tablecloth, by the way. Yeah. So you saw how I did that on four neodymium magnets. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, man this is a track made of hundreds of neodymium magnets. Oh. <laughs> you know what's coming, don't you? I hope so. Right. Definite gap there, right? Yeah. Oh, oh my, my goodness God. me! That's incredible. <laughs> Look at that. And you can actually see it moving between all those field lines because there's a bit of gap between our um, magnets here. The magnetic forces keep the hoverboard floating and stop it from falling off the curved track. Woo. Oh, I've got an idea. OK, what is it? Look, a pilot. Oh, this is genius. A pilot. OK, OK, oh. OK. There we go. You ready? Go, 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 go. Yes, it works. That is a hoverboard. 